What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Young T. Rav, representing RA Records and Peso Media. Welcome back to GarageBandMillionaire.com, your number one site for music making, music marketing, and music monetizing. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Young T-Rev. Welcome back to GarageBandMillionaire.com, your number one site for music making, music marketing, and music monetizing. Make sure you guys subscribe, okay? Cool, so in the past videos, I got you guys set up with the GarageBand Millionaire vocal mixing formula. I gave you guys the GarageBand Millionaire recording formula. I gave you guys my five tips and tricks on how to get a perfect recording every time, no matter what studio, no matter what mic, blase, blase, blase. I gave you guys your own custom vocal mixing template, and I gave you guys three presets. Um, so now we got a good vocal recorded. You guys should be able to kind of feel more comfortable with your recording now, have an idea of where you're gonna take the whole song the whole project have an idea where it's going a finishing point like how you want it to sound have an idea in mind and we can go from there now now that we have a good recording because remember you can't add anything that's not there we got our vocal mixing template already set up so let's dive right into it guys but first make sure if you haven't already follow me on instagram at peso media 7 and at juke boy trav log on to garagebandmillionaire.com Click that subscribe button, click that like button, and leave a comment, as well as leave any video request in the comment section. Cool? Let's get on with the video. Okay, so first things first, guys. Like I told you, I always start every vocal mixing process assuming that my gain staging and stuff was right and my recording process, which is where you want to get your gain staging and stuff right, where you want to make sure you're peaking at the same levels and everything, during that recording process, since I did that correctly, now it'll make my mixing process less hard. It'll make the engineer's job less hard. He could just focus on the sweet spots instead of taking out negative things. But first, let me give you guys some rules, okay? When using the GarageBand Millionaire Vocal Mixing Formula, we're always gonna use subtractive EQ before we use additive EQ, and we're always gonna cut narrow and boost wide. You'll learn what that means later on in the video. First things first, we're gonna start off with here. I'll let you guys hear this, the raw vocals and stuff. I'm fried, I'm fried, I'm fried, I'm fried. Cause I in the park, got me fried, fried. Red, 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 Okay, so you guys, I'm gonna explain the GarageBand Millionaire vocal mixing formula just a little bit more in depth. So first off, we're gonna start with our main vocal, and then once we have a perfect main vocal, I'll let you guys hear that on solo. I'm not, I'm not stumbling over any words or halfway saying any yeah. words. Everything's pronounced clearly and understandable. I'm fried. And it's all understandable. Okay. Cause I ain't a perk, got me fried. Bad red bone color cherry pie. Got a nice Face clear main vocal, okay? Fish fry. Rest in peace, T-shirt. After you get your nice clear main vocal, you're going to do some stabs. Stabs are just adding emphasis to certain points of the record. Now watch how I do this. So I'm going to liven up that main vocal with some backing stabs, okay? Yeah. I'm fried. I'm fried. Fried. I'm fried. Fried. Because I in the perk got me fried. Bad red bone, color back. cherry pop. Face shot the jacket, throw him a fish fry. Rest in peace, t-shirt. Hope they got my size. Too geeked up, can't you see it in my Hear the eyes? difference? Not enough with your no. main bitch on the FaceTime. She got a fat ass, no waistline. I heard she a freak through the grapevine. Good Spicy. thing come to those who wait. That's cool and I'm still gonna take mine. Hear the emphasis? The Nick Cannon those mine. are what those stabs are for. You guys hear the emphasis? That's what the stabs are for, okay? Then finally, the ad-libs. The ad-libs are just adding some extra emotion and some spice into it, okay? So you already have an emphasized main vocal. You already have your points of emphasis in there. The ad-libs are just backing fried, it up, I'm okay? Fried. Just making it sound fried. better. 
Cause I in the park got me fried. Fried. Had red bone. Call a cherry pie. pie. Chase out shot the jacket, throw him a fish fry. Hear that? Peace cool. T-shirt. Oh. Guys, hear that? Now when you bring in the beat. Sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty good to be on mix. But a lot of those voices are not controlled, so this is what we're gonna do in the mixing process. Remember, I told you guys, subtractive EQ first, okay? So, let's mute these stabs, let's mute these L's, and let's start with our main vocal. And let's just do some subtractive EQ, okay? So first off, guys, I'm gonna loop it for you so we just can keep right going, okay? So I'm gonna open up the EQ, okay? And I'm gonna show you guys something else real quick, okay? So we could do this. I start by making a cut that just really takes all the low end kind of noise out of there. I'll cut everything above, I mean below 90 hertz, okay? So that will be in audio. Now remember, I told you guys we're going to boost Y cut narrow. So since this is subtractive EQ, we'll be cutting, okay? So we're gonna change our Q, our band Q, we're gonna put it up to 15, okay? You see how it's narrow, and when we do that, it gets wider, okay? So we're gonna start with 15, that's a good point, like that's a good starting point, okay? So what I like to do is just to get ready for my subtractive EQ in every mix, this is a little shortcut for you guys. I'll take all of these and I'll put their cues at 15. Okay. But I'll turn them off though so they're not in use. Okay. All the cues at 15. Boom. Turn that off. Last one. Put that Q on fifteen. Then we'll turn it off. And now what we're gonna do is go in here, save as, subtractive EQ. So what this does is it creates a preset for you. So then you don't have to go and turn up the Q and this and that, you could just sweep. Now we're gonna go over the method called the sweeping method. So this is how you use the sweeping method to remove problem frequencies using subtractive EQ. Basically, we're just gonna turn the frequency all the way up, sweep through, pick out sounds we don't like, and just turn them down a little bit, okay? I'll show you. Since we already got our presets in there, we got our subtractive EQ in there, it'll be easy. So sometimes you can solo when doing this, but I don't usually solo, but I'll do it for the purpose of this educational video. So, listen to this. Cause I in a perk, got me fried. Bad red bone, call a cherry pie. Face shot the jacket, throw him a fish. Do you hear that muddiness in there? Do you hear that muddiness in the vocal? So now we're gonna essentially just, we found the problem frequency, one spot we don't like. We're just gonna turn that down. A little bit. Cause I in a perk, got me fried. Bad red bone, call a cherry pie. Okay. Shot the Simple as that. That's how you sweep 
to find problem frequencies using subtractive EQ and just turn them down. Okay? Let's do the rest. Cause I ain't a perk, got me fried. Bad red bone, call a cherry pie. Face shot the jacket, throw them a fish fry. Rest in peace t-shirt, hope they got my size. Too geeked up, can't you see it in Hear my that? eyes? Hear that? Cause I ain't a perk, got me fried. Bad red bone, call a cherry pie. Face shot the jacket, throw them a fish fry. Rest in peace t-shirt, hope they got bit. my... Let's turn that down a little bit, okay? Cause I ain't Moving a perk, got me fried. Bad red bone, call a cherry pie. Face shot the jacket, throw him a fish fry. Rest in peace, t-shirt. Hope they got my size. Too geeked up, can't you see it in my eyes? Nodding off with your main bitch on the FaceTime. She got a fat ass, no waistline. I heard she a freak through the grapevine. Good things come to those who wait. That's okay, you hear that whistling in there? Cause I ain't a perk, got me fried. Bad red bone, call a cherry pie. Face shot the jacket, throw him a fish fry. Rest in peace, t-shirt. Hope they got my size. Too geeked up, can't you see it in my eyes? Not enough with your main bitch on the... Okay, so this is how your subtractive EQ will look after you perform the sweep method. Usually this is how mine looks on the main vocal. You don't have to get as in-depth in the stab and in the ad-lib. I usually like to put some type of vocal effect when I use the EQ as in a radio effect or old telephone effect or something just to make my stabs and my ad-libs really stand out. But first you must get that perfect main vocal, that crisp main vocal that sets the tone, okay? Cause I ain't a perk, got me fried. Bad red bone, call a cherry pie. Face shot the jacket, on a fish fry. Right on Okay, so we, so we removed them problem frequencies. Next, we'll be using our first compressor, okay? Compression is really just kind of balancing out the vocal, which is usually done in gain staging and recording. Like I said earlier, once you get that perfect recorded vocal with the perfect levels, then you don't have to do so much compression and EQ and all that stuff. But for the purpose of this educational video, and really in every mix, I compress, no matter what, you know, whether it's just slight or whether it's major compression, okay? And here I can use slight compression because as you see, I'm not really peaking anywhere, like all oh, my, my, like my vocals stand pretty consistent in decibels, okay? So we're gonna use the Renaissance compressor and we're just gonna smooth that vocal out a little bit, all right? Basically what I just did with that compressor was I said it so it attacks at negative 24 decibel. That's where it kicks in at, okay? So I got a pretty fast attack time, which is making an aggressive vocal, okay? Got a pretty fast release time, which is really compressing that vocal, all right? I don't have that high of a ratio. I'm gonna stick to around three. Really, I'm gonna go down to 2.5 and I'm gonna turn up the output gain, I'm gonna put it up four decibels just to kind of make up for some of those decibels we lost in the compression process, all right? Let's hear how that sounds. You hear how that vocal's just breathing with, like kind of like just breathing with the beat and stuff and just, it just sounds good in there and it's not, peaking too high or it's not like you know it's just the highs and the lows are really close together so it's a consistent smooth vocal all right next we're gonna do some additive eq okay i don't have a preset for this one 
This one basically, we're gonna kind of use something similar to the sweep method, but we're not gonna go as high. And I don't really usually boost a whole lot. I just kind of boost the high end, which is really every, like you can start playing around 7,000 and just make it sound good. I usually go like seven and go up seven decibels, okay? Like 7K up seven decibels, that's where I start at, all right? And I'm gonna leave it there for now, okay? Just so you guys can hear the high end, like where the the um, EQ is really boosting those high end vocals, okay? I'm also gonna boost around the 2500 or 2.5K kilohertz uh, decibel range because I mean, I'm also going to boost around the 2K, I mean, two, I'm also going to boost around the 2.5K hertz um, frequency range because that's kind of going to add some more stab to my vocals. Uh, I'm going to increase the Q so it's not boosting so much, put it around like 2.5, and then just raise it like one decibel, okay? Really, all I'm gonna do, like, in like just those three plugins, I already have got this vocal sound way different. Let me show you. You would really be able to tell with the inconsistent vocal, but since I have kind of perfected my craft with recording, my vocals are very consistent and very easy to mix. This is nothing. Subtractive EQ. So next, we're gonna use one more compressor. Just kind of really get that vocal consistent, okay? Remember, it's the same blind, concept, all right? Where threshold is where the um, signal kicks in, the ratio is uh, how many decibels has to go over before it kicks in. Um, re the release is how fast it kicks in and the attack is uh, how fast it like grabs that vocal. So once again, I'm gonna go with probably a pretty, s I'm gonna do a slower attack time this time, but Still gonna be pretty fast because I want to have that really like spicy, like spicy stab and aggressive vocal. Okay, and I'll do it probably like I'll start with around like 50 milliseconds for the release sign time, and we'll turn it up a little more. Let's go up 2.5. That's what it's here. I sound because I ain't a perk, got me fried. Bad red bone, call a cherry pie. Face shot the jacket, throw him a fish fry. Rest in peace, t-shirt. Hope they got my size. Two heat up, up. can't you see it in my eyes? Not enough with your main bitch on the FaceTime. She got a fat ass, no waistline. Threshold down. She freak through the grapevine. Good things come to those who wait. That's cool and I'm still gonna take mine. XD, get the buck and Nick Cannon drumline. Where the perks at? Where the perks at? Where the perks at? Where the perks at? That's my punchline. Yeah, that's smooth, consistent, same, with that lemon like real consistent vocal. Get your ass stuck up, no porcupine. Thank no compression for that. I can't wait in line. Assist on the lick, I'ma drop a dime. You a snitch, I heard you, I heard drop a dime. I won't fuck the bitch if she ain't fine. Ask my watch out. Here, my voice is really standing on top of that. I don't have any reverb, any delay, any effects on it, yeah. I just have some compression and some EQ. Okay? So... For the final effect, you can really play around with this one. I just threw in a reverb uh, just for the sake of you guys' vocal mixing template and you guys' presets. But you can really mess around with this. You can put it, you can change it from delay to reverb to really like whatever. You know, there's some doublers, like there's all types of plugins you can use, okay? I'm gonna use the. CLA vocals plugin, okay? This just kind of adds some uh, reverb and delay and stuff in here. You guys can do this using regular reverb or delay or whatever uh, effect plugins. I'm gonna use my Waves plugins though, okay? Let's get this sounding really nice. <laughs> Compression 
one more time. I love these like vocal plugins, like they just have everything you need in one, but some more compressions, some little reverb, and some little delay. And we got a nice time to main work. That's cool and I'm still gonna take mine. XD, get the bucket, Nick Cannon drum line. Where the perks at? Where the perks at? Where the perks at? Where the perks at? That's my punchline. She stuck and fuck on wine and dime. Mr. Rock Tech with that lemon lime. Flex too hard, get your ass stuck up. No porcupine. No patience, I can't wait in line. Assist on the. There we have a nice, clear main vocal. It's already sounding good. Like, I could bounce this on right now and it'd be good. Just with a little more tweaking to it, but I'm gonna go ahead and bring in the stabs and the ad libs just to kind of show you guys some basic effects you can put on these to make it like just to make it stand out in your mix, okay? So, for this first EQ, rem remember we won't always be using all the plugins that we have lined up, but for the sake of the GarageBand Millionaire vocal mixing template, I showed you guys them, okay? So, first off, I say. We can use some telephone EQ. Uh, I do. I like to do wide band when I use telephone EQ though. Okay, phone filter wide band, um, and that's gonna be on the stabs. Now listen to this. Cause I in the park got me fried. On all the cherry pie, face shot the jacket, throw a fish fry right You hear that like aggressive, just like. Let me show you guys what the AQ is doing, okay? So look. Cause I in the park got me fried. It's cutting out all three of the cherry pie face. Any frequency that's not in here is getting cut out and it's boosting these frequencies and it's making it kind of like resemble a phone sound, okay? So that's like, that's just something I throw in the ad libs just to add it, like add some spice. I mean, the stabs just to add some spice to it and make like those stabs stand out and show that I'm kind of emphasizing those points, okay? Next, for my compression, I'm gonna. Do some something like around the same 24 decibel, negative 24 decibel. That's why I always really start ratio. We'll turn this ratio up some, put it on four. We're gonna have a really, really fast attack, okay? Just to really make it sit back in the mix, okay? So, fast attack, do like 46 seconds. Cause I in the park, got me fried. Yeah, yeah, really bone, really call a cherry pie. Face shot the jacket, throw on a fish fry. Rest in peace t-shirt, hope they got my size. Two geek the can't you see it in my eyes? Not enough with your main bitch on the FaceTime. She got a fat ass, no waistline. I heard she a so friend with a grapevine. We're gonna turn it up and... I'm also just gonna add some reverb to that uh vocal let's do factory preset you know factory presets are always cool i do some, some a small haul okay let's see how it sounds because i in the park got me fried bad red bone call a cherry pie face shot the jacket on a fish fry rest in peace t-shirt hope they got my size two geek the can't you see it in my eyes not enough with your main bitch on the facetime she got a fat ass no waistline I heard she a freak through the grapevine. Good things come to those who wait. That's cool and I'm still gonna take mine. XD, get the buck and Nick Cannon drum line. Where the perks at? Where the perks at? Where the perks at? Where the perks at? That's my punchline. She suck and fuck on wine and dime. Mr. Rock. So we're just gonna turn that wet dry knob down to about 25%, okay? So it's gonna be about 25% wet, about 75% dry, okay? Cause I in the park got me fried. Bad red bone, call a cherry pie. Face shot the jacket, throw him a fish fry. Rest in peace t-shirt, hope they got my size. Hear that sound? Up, can't you see it in my... Hear how that's, those stabs are really emphasizing the vocal now? Yep. Sounds good, we're almost done, okay? Now, for the ad libs. So the ad libs, I like to do something similar to the stabs, but... We won't use the exact same thing, we'll make it a little different, okay? Let's do some megaphone. Cause I in the park, got me fried. Fried! Red, red bone, call a cherry pie. Face shot the jacket, throw him a... Cause I in the park, got me fried. Fried! Red, red bone, call a cherry pie. Face shot the jacket, throw him a fish fry. Red the deep t-shirt, hope they got my size. Too geek the can't you see it in my eyes? Not enough with your main bitch on the... We'll use another phone filter, but we'll just use the notch when it's time. Cause I in the park, got me fried. I really find that presets are very helpful when um, mixing the stabs and the ad libs. The only thing I really focus on and don't use presets on is the main vocal, okay? 
because presets will bring you a long way and they cut down how long it takes to mix, okay? And for that compressor, once again, I'm gonna put them way back in the mix, so I'm gonna have a really fast attack time, not, a, not as fast as the stabs, though. And then I'm gonna have um, pretty fast release time. Let's do 45 milliseconds. Turn that ratio up some, turn that threshold down. Okay, let's hear how this sounds, okay? Design in the park got me fried. Red, red bone, call it cherry pie. Face shot the jacket, throw my fish fry. Red and deep t-shirt, hope they got my size. Two geek the can't you see it in my eyes? Got it off with your main bitch on the FaceTime. She got a fat ass, no waistline. I heard she a freak through the grapevine. Good things come to those who wait. That's cool and I'm still gonna take mine. Hey, B, get the buck and hit cannon drum line. Where the perks at? Where the perks at? Where the perks at? Where the perks at? That's my punchline. Fuck on one and dime, Mr. Yeah, that's sounding good, okay? You can really hear uh, Alice in the back, but they're really put way back there. That's what the compressor does. It really can put, like, it, it, it just smooths out that sound to where you want it to sit, and then you could put, like, it'll take your vocal tracks and have them standing out in different spots so each of them sound good on their own, okay? So, final thing I'll do for the ad libs. I'm just going to put some delay on it. Some real simple delay, okay? Really simple delay. Okay. Let's start with one sixteenth play. Design in the park got me fried. Red, red bone, call it cherry pie. Face shot the jacket, throw my fish fry. Red and deep t-shirt, hope they got my size. That's too fast. The can't you see it in my eye. That's too fast. So one sixteenth didn't work. Let's do one fourteenth. Design in the park got me fried. Red, red bone, call it cherry pie. Face shot the jacket, throw my fish fry. Red and deep t-shirt, hope they got my size. Too geeked up, can't you see it in my eye? Those who 
the way that's cool and I'm still gonna take mine. AP, get the bucket, hit cannon drum line. Where the perks at? Where the perks at? Where the perks at? Where the perks at? That's my punchline. She stuck and fuck on wine and dine. Mix the rock tick with that lemon line. Flex too hard, get your ass dug up, no porcupine. No patience, I can't wait in line. Assist on the leak, I'ma drop a dime. You a snitch, I heard you out here dropping down. I won't fuck the bitches, she ain't fine. Ask my white child, I can't waste no time. She too anxious for the dick, I had to tell the little bitch to take her time. This out in the park got me fried. Bad red bone, call it cherry pie. Face shot the jacket, throw him a fish fry. Red and t shirt, hope they got my size. Too geek to catch a seat in my eyes. Not no with your main bitch on the FaceTime. She got a fat ass, no waistline. Yeah. Nice. Cool. So that sounds really good, actually. So let's turn on that beat. Just like two more decibels, right? Okay. And oh yeah, shout out Evasion Media for the beat, man. Anyway, though, last thing we gotta do is just first off. We're gonna say this. No more vocal mixing template. Call this fry. Alright. That's how you mix the song, Garage Band. Last thing I'm gonna do is just fade the beat out so it comes to a nice smooth end. Boom. Gonna hit A. That's how you pull up the automation. Left click, left click. And just fade the beat out. Okay, I'll fade the beat out. Okay. And boom. Hit A again, high automation. I'll save that one more time. And now, you ready to bounce the song down, okay? So what you're gonna do is export song disc. I always like to put it in my downloads, okay? I'm gonna save my MP3 and export. Simple as that, okay? Simple as that, guys. So I gave you guys my GarageBand Millionaire vocal mixing template. I gave you guys my GarageBand Millionaire recording template. Uh, I gave you guys all my formulas and all my tips and tricks and my recording tips and tricks and how to EQ, how to compress. I showed you guys some delay and reverb display and uh, I hope I was helpful to you guys, okay? Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like this video. Leave a comment and leave all video requests in the comment section. Log on to garagebandmillionaire.com for more posting videos like this and other tutorials. Don't forget, garagebandmillionaire.com is your number one site for music making, music marketing, and music monetizing. Oh, you can't find your song? Send your download, silly. Fry, young t rail Boom. Design in a perk got me fried. Bad red bone, call a cherry pie. Face shot the jacket, throw him a fish fry. Red the peach t-shirt, hope they got my size. Too geeked up, can't you see it in my eyes? Not enough with your main bitch on the FaceTime. She got a fat ass, no waistline. I heard she a freak through the grapevine.